Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Lotus. Enzo. Since the house is officially closed and sold, now the real work of I have to find an airstream. And I've got four weeks to do it. It won't be a problem. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. There are several sub freezing days. I was finally able to get out here and clean the back of the truck. It's virtually spotless. I need to get some new tape. Yellow's working pretty well. This is all I had on hand. This is gaff tape. It's for like photography and stuff. But putting this tape in general has helped a lot. So next time I'm up there, I'm gonna get some blue if they have it or orange. And this has helped a lot with Enzo. When I would drive, I would notice his paw would slip and I was worried, you know, he's gonna get hurt. Since I put this stuff here, this is like the type of stuff you put on kind of like on skateboards or something. But I like this one specifically. It was meant to be more for barefoot. They're both linked in the Amazon if you're looking for similar things. And I know it looks, I know it makes the truck look so trashy. Like why do you have this weird tape here that constantly, but it does help. And it's like, oh well, it helps my pups, so I don't really care. What in the world are you barking at? I'm sure he had his reasons. He always does. But I always like to, even if I can't wash the outside, do the windows. So then at least when you're driving and you're like looking out through the, the glare and everything, at least the windows are clean. <sighs> I spent the day shopping for Airstreams and doing stuff to prepare to shop for Airstreams, like really going through and figuring out my budget and what I can afford. I mean, I knew kind of what I could afford, but like I wanted to have hard numbers. So yeah, that's what, that's what I've been doing all day. So the pups are a little pent up on energy. As you can see, it. Uh, I did a little time lapse, so I'll show you guys now. Shameless merch plug. Forget to go to Shop Buddy Big and Tall to get your Enzo and Lotus merch. And despite all the craziness going on in life right now, whether it's the beanies, the stickers, or the keychain, I promise I will get them shipped out next business day, if not same business day. I will actually take them to the shipping place. I will not put them in my mailbox anymore. I learned the hard way that the mailman sometimes just ignores them for days and I don't realize that. Go mail this merch, boys. And always showing off with this remote start. Must be nice. You guys haven't seen it yet the new customized license plate people who see this are just gonna think okay well it's pup truck 2 because pup truck wasn't available i'm pretty sure pup truck wasn't available but it's pup truck 2 because this is the second pup truck but i'm gonna need a license plate for the airstream so comment below i need some good ideas for the airstream i am officially done decorating for christmas however i still want to do something with this random extension cord it's Awesome as that looks going across the grass. Thought had a Halloween or a Christmas one, but I don't know. I can't find it. So I guess we're sticking with Halloween for now. And I got cactus lit up now. So that was the last thing that needed power. So yeah, that pretty much does it. I got to say, I don't know if it's the retro part or what, but these were the cheapest lights at Target. I got about 2,000 square feet or square feet, 2,000 feet for a hundred dollars and they're just simple they're not even leds they're just simple twinkle lights i gotta say i really really like them. you got opinion i know i know you always got the opinions but i really like just the simplicity uh, it might be a retro thing i don't know kind of like what you grew up on i didn't even realize i had the wrong lens on I can still see pretty well i should get the other one though all right switched over to the uh better lens for low light see the house a lot better now. Cactus is looking a little shaky there. I might have to fix him, but other than that, at least there's not a big thing going across my yard anymore and the sidewalk. <sighs> All right, I'm at, I'm at the new storage unit that I got. 
Didn't really bring much with me. I'm kind of, this is kind of like a test because I had to come up this way anyways. It's definitely creepier than my old one. No idea. Okay, guess the lights aren't gonna kick. Lovely. And I forgot my phone in the car. Oh, wait, I have my flashlight there, as usual. All right, so I think this is me. That's all I got for now. Also, as I was walking, I saw this stuff up here in the ceiling. And I was like, huh, maybe they store their own stuff up there, or I don't know. And it dawned on me, the storage units don't have ceilings. So that's literally people getting the most out of their money. Like, how in the world did they even do that? Jeez. Anyways, I'm taking a bit of a detour. I'm actually taking something to an old friend's house, but when I was driving by on the main road, I saw this house all lit up, so I had to come check it out. I mean, if I can see you from a couple roads away, oh my gosh, that is impressive. It's a condo. Wow, that's somebody's condo. Oh man, the neighbors, I wonder what they think. I don't know, the whole community seems to get on board though. I mean, not the whole community, but you know what I mean, like a decent amount. That is impressive. Normally at some point I drive around and look at Christmas lights. I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. I can vlog it a little bit. It's really cool though. All right, here I am distracted again, turning down a road I'm not even supposed to be going down. I like how these houses got together, kind of got similar patterns. This whole street just kind of looked lit up. That's cool. Definitely different. Oh, sweet, changes colors. Yeah, you know, my windows are so tinted that <laughs> this isn't exactly the best vehicle to be doing this in. Um, but if you are interested in that, let me know and I'll take you guys with me one evening and drive around the neighborhoods and see if we see anything cool. I like it. I wonder if there's like music playing or something or if sometimes, oh yeah, see, tuned to 99.7. That's cool. Aside from putting up a bunch of Christmas lights each year, I don't know what I would do with a house this big. So something we're working on is not barking at people when they come up in the drive-thru, the Chick-fil-A employees. Yeah, that's a tough one. I know it's it's a it's a gray area. You're protecting your house in this case the truck. And I mean they did well. Got a couple little barks in, but I'll have to set up the camera at some point and actually show you guys what I mean. Because while I fully plan to cook in the airstream, obviously there's just no way we don't visit some drive-throughs along the way on this journey. Hopefully in and out. I'm so excited to try in and out. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. You starting to recognize this place? Oh, you marking the territory? This isn't our house. Yeah, you smell them other pups? I oh, know. Yeah, you smell them? <laughs> 